Hey there, Dreamer. Welcome to Dream Right Go. Remember to dream about it, write it down, and go after it like a mofo. I'm DWG. Happy New Year's to you. Remember to like and subscribe and help a brother out. Over the holiday season, I wanted to dig deep into what was a good folder structure. Because for me, things need to make sense. Sad to say, I have no idea what a good folder structure is. So many different people have so many different ways of doing their folder structures inside of Godot. It really just comes down to what's comfortable for you. Now, I'm sure there's some best practices out there, but I haven't nailed those down just yet. Now, I I want to remind everybody when I say that I'm new to Godot, I mean new to Godot, fresh from scratch. I have no background and no other game engine, so I have no other past experiences to pull from. With that said, I went on ahead and started to piece together what just made sense to me. What you see in front of you right now is a document that I call a living document. It's made inside of LibreOffice open source program. I entitled it My Game Setup Template 0.0, and this is all about the root folder as far as the level one folders. You'll notice that there is an asset folder, scene folder a code folder and one document called GameOn.tscn, which is the main scene inside of Godot. Now I decided to name it Game On. You don't have to name that. Now sure, on your screen, you see how I have it laid out level one, level two, and level three, but let's look at a more visual representation. On your screen right now, you got two folders and the Godot version four beta 10. And underneath each of these icons, you have the open program as well as the open folders. Let's check out GDDF, which stands for Godot default folders. On level one, you see assets, code, and scene. Let's go inside of assets and you will see audio and graphics. Inside of audio, you have actor sounds and you got world sounds. If we go back up and then go underneath graphics, you have characters and world. Although I think I'm going to be naming characters actors. I don't really like the name characters actors sounds a little cooler. But for now, let's go inside of characters. You're going to see that there's a couple folders here. I have a folder for the hero, the foe, and the extra actors. If we go underneath world, you'll see that I have a place for land, sky and water. But of course, I'm sure that the asset section can grow, but this is where the graphics and the audios and anything else that has to do with that type of thing will go. Code is going to be for code snippets or any code that I apply to the game. Scenes are going to be where I hold my scenes, such as the player scene, the background scene, the whatever scene. Everything inside of Godot needs to be a scene and you should make everything a scene by itself. Make it an instance of itself. That will become more clear later on because it took me a while to wrap my mind around that, of which I'm still kind of wrapping my mind around it. Okay, let's look at the folder next to it, which is labeled GD Pro 1, which stands for Godot Projects 1. Inside of this folder, you notice that I have a GD 2D and a GD 3D, which means 2D projects and 3D projects. There's also one called GD Demos, and this is where I will save my demos if I download it from the asset library projects inside the Godot program. When we open up GD 2D, which is going to hold my 2D projects, you'll notice that it's empty at the moment, and this is where all my 2D projects will be held. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna create a brand new project inside of Godot. I'm gonna go here to the right here and click on new project. And you'll see this new box opens up. Easy peasy, right? We're gonna go ahead and click on browse and then a new window will open up. You'll see that underneath my recent documents or my recent locations that I have the desktop there. And what I wanna do is click on the desktop. Now you might have to find your desktop of which you can hit this arrow here to go to parent and then search out your desktop. Top. Now I want to go to my GD Pro 1, which is where I'm holding all my projects like I was describing before. And like you see right over in here, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that I have the folder GD 2D, which we just talked about. I'm going to choose this because I want my project to be created inside of that. And then I'm going to choose select this folder. Now that that folder has been selected, I want to open up this folder size so I can show you something right here. We're going to name our project. This is what the game is going to be built into. And what I'm going to name mine is GD2D underscore snow land. After that, I'm going to go ahead and click on create folder. Now watch what happens on this side and you'll see that the folder has been created. I'm going to go ahead and open up this folder and you'll see that this folder is empty because we have not created this project quite yet. You can choose your renderer. Now forward plus has more advanced features and whatnot. Mobile is for mobile. And then you have the compatibility or backwards compatibility renderers if you want to choose 
that. I'm gonna leave mine's on forward for this and just go ahead and click on create and edit. Now we're inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on 2D up here to bring us to our 2D platform. I also wanna show you that over here to the left, this is the resource folder or the root folder that has now been created. And you can see here in Godot, underneath the resource, you have there's one icon .svg, which is this file right here. Now inside of Blender, there's an ongoing joke or whatever that you delete your default cube whenever Blender first starts. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the default SVG icon from Blender and hit delete and hit remove. Now, the very first thing I wanna do is put my folder structure to use. I'm gonna go into my Godot default folder structure, which is right here. I'm gonna copy it and then simply paste it right inside of the Godot root folder. Once I go back into Godot, you'll see right here that the root folder has now been populated with my folder structure. I'm gonna open this up wide so we can see it a little bit better. If I open up the assets, there goes the audio, actor sound, world sounds, underneath graphics, we have the characters in the world, underneath characters, the foe, the world, so on and so forth, sky, water, land, all of that is there. And my folder structure is ready to go and in place. Now, this might be a little bit of overkill if you're doing a simple project, so on and so forth, and you might wanna just build up to it. But for me, I need these things to be in place because I feel like this is gonna be the foundation and I'm gonna be building off of, and I just need it to be there so I can go forward. If I change my mind later, so be it. Again, in my humble opinion, build what's good for you. But remember, I'm brand new to Godot. Take everything I do with a grain of salt. There's so many different people out there that you can pull from from some professionals that you can pull that support from. So seek them out. Seek out Game Dev Journey. Tell them that DWG sent you. And see you on the next one. Where I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone. It's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home. Your name is written in the sky.